Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully, you guys are doing great. So hopefully, you guys are doing amazing. This video, as basic as mine can get, this is how to mod GT5, but this is like the very basic slot. You can see a lot of tutorials on other people's channels, they go a lot more in depth. I just want to make a video just so you can get straight into modding, just so you can start installing cars, a couple script mods, and just the basic mods. And you can pretty much install just about any mod tutorial that I have on my channel. So, this video is for you if you guys want to just fast straight get into it without too much right so we will need a couple of things what i do have like how to install open iv it's, a, it's own video how to install scripted 5 scripted i might mention some things if you guys want to be a little bit more in depth i do have those videos that are separate from this one but this is just as a whole right now i have no mods on my game i messed up and had to delete my whole game and I had to reinstall every single thing but i want to do it with you guys um, but with that said let's get started guys so we do need a couple of things guys we will need open iv we will need scriptic 5 we will need uh scripted.net and i will get to native ui but let's just get straight into open iv open iv it's a software right it's not a mod itself but it's a software that we use to mod the game um so once you download it guys open it up hit accept hit continue and then uh, i'm gonna leave this bubble right so you want to install the open iv onto that computer that you're on create a desktop icon i do want a desktop icon uh, i'm actually want to hit this checkbox just so it runs the open iv after installation i'm going to leave the installation path the same feel free to change it if you want to save it elsewhere but i just leave it as it is and this is if you're installing on a separate computer which, which we are not but feel free to check it if you know what you're doing and I just so you guys know, mod at your own risk, guys. Modding can be pretty tricky sometimes, so just be aware of that. So mod at your own risk when installing any mod or even doing this tutorial. Um, shouldn't be too risky, but just so you guys are aware, there is some risk. All right, guys, sweet. So once OpenIV installs, you'll see a little icon here. So this is what OpenIV looks like, guys. So go ahead and hit Windows, because we are on Windows. All right, guys, so this location. This is going to look for you GTA 5. So whenever you first downloaded GTA 5 on your computer, it, pretty, it probably asked you where do you want to save the game, right? Or where do you want us to save all of our, all of your games? That is where you want to find the game. So if, for example, if I hit browse, for me, it's already here. So it's already here. So it might be very similar to you, but if you are on Steam and you want to find the location of your game, go open up Steam. And then where you see all your games, feel free to right click on GT5, go to properties and go to local files, hit browse, and it'll bring up the location of your game. So yours might not look the same since I already just installed. This is my actually my second time shooting this video because I didn't like how the first time it came out, but I still uninstalled OpenIV for you guys. So this, it'll look very similar to this, except you won't have all this and a couple of these. So it'll look very similar. So once you find the location of your game, guys, you know you found the right location once you see play GT5, GT5 launcher, GT5 language select, and GT5. If you don't see those, or even one of them, you're probably in the wrong location. So make sure you find, at least those, you know, wherever your game is installed. For Epic Games, it might be very similar. It might be like, maybe like an Epic Games library, Steam apps, common, GT5. So it's going to be somewhere in there, guys. Maybe go to wherever you downloaded it from Epic Games. It'll probably tell you where it downloaded. So for Steam, that is how you do it though. I wish I could help you for Epic Games, but I'm not 100% sure since I don't have the Epic Games version. But if you know where it is, if you know where the game is at on Epic Games, feel free to continue with this tutorial. It should probably be the same thing. All right, so hit this path up here. So this is the path of where the game is located. Highlight the whole thing, right click, hit copy. All right, so go back to OpenIV. And now once you're up here, guys, right, this is the window that's gonna ask, where is the game? We are going to paste this location. So for me, it's the same since I just recently did it. So it, for some reason, it still keeps it there. <laughs> um, but once you see that, once you put this look the location here, right? Once you see that this location is the same as where the game is located uh, here, if it's the same as this, then you, you paste it in the right location, right? <laughs> Hit the like folder and you should see successfully GT 5.exe version, blah, blah, blah and it'll turn it'll be green so pretty much what i said is found this gt5 folder right here or this fi this file right all right hit continue all right hit continue again and open iv is just a software for the game it's not necessarily a mod it does install mods that you need to pretty much mod but open iv the reason you pretty much need it i think the reason that i find you need it is because 
certain things you can't open up just by simply going to the op file explorer like gt5 you just can't open up these fo these files so as you can see for some reason it's an adobe audition file i can't open it up but open iv i can and i can modify files in there so just so you guys know all right guys once you install open iv let's do a couple things go to tools so it'll look like this go to uh, asi manager install so yours will look like this it'll be all blue install the asi loader and install the open iv asi that's all i'm going to install for now hit close and that you do need that for your mods to work so just so you guys know all right once you do that guys let's create a scripts folder so as you can see you already have one how do you get that a lot of mods do require a scripts folder so if you guys want to start installing mods after this after this video once you guys are done with this video go check out a bunch of my tutorials i have a ton of mods you guys can install and have fun with um, but hit edit mode where right? you'll get this little folder so that folder will not be there that folder icon won't be there if you don't hit edit mode hit that type in scripts so i'm not gonna hit enter or okay because i already have it but once you do that hit okay and it'll create an empty scripts folder so just like that so well mine is not empty but it'll be empty for you so just scripts folder just like that i guess and then also uh once you actually installed these two i believe it'll create a mods folder it'll be the purple folder so it will create that folder so and if it didn't create that folder guys you can just create a folder again just the way same way we did with the scripts folder hit this little icon type in mods hit okay and it'll actually be purple automatically so that's it'll just for some reason open iv says hey if it's if it says mod there's a folder named mods let's turn it purple <laughs> so just so you guys know um all right so there's there's that all right so now go back to the location of your gt5 right so this is where we copied the location of gt5 so wherever your game is that's not an open iv go back right what you want to do is you will see now see a mods folder and a scripts folder so what you want to do now is highlight the update and the x64 so these two right click copy all right so once you copy those go inside of your mods folder it should be empty and you want to paste so as you can see i already have these in here so all i did is exactly that i copied and i hit paste so i already have those in here so i'm gonna cancel as you can see the same files i'm just gonna cancel skip these files so it does take a while to copy since these files are a big chunk of your game so it can take up to like 20 30 minutes so just be aware of that let it sit let it do its thing but once you're done you should see the update update and the x64 folders right inside of that mods folder so you have a copy outside of the mods folder and a copy inside of the mods folder just like that all right just so you guys know all right so we're done with open iv we're done with the very basics of that let's go ahead and install scriptic 5 all right so scriptic 5 you do need scriptic 5 for most mods if you don't have scriptic 5 mods won't work and you do need to update scriptic 5 every time gt5 updates your game for some reason but just be aware the problem with that is it usually takes maybe up to even a week or two weeks after the update for the developers of scriptic 5 to update a new one until then you can't mod or you can't play with mods unless you remove all the mods or you downgrade the, the game until the previous version just so you guys know all right, so all links in the description, guys. Hit download down here. It'll be download the little download link. Uh, download it. Open it up and extract all. So you see a little button on the right side here. Hit extract all. And then I'm going to make sure this is checked. Hit extract. All right. So once you have the extracted version of the mod, guys. So I'm going to close out the one that's not extracted because I don't, I can't work with that. Open up the bin folder. And then you'll see two files. Again, make sure you are extracted because if you aren't extracted, I don't think you could even copy. At least most mods won't be able to be copied and pasted into OpenIV. So this is pretty much the main use of OpenIV, guys. Again, if you guys a little bit want me to talk a little bit more about it, I will have a card at the top for OpenIV. That's just its own video. It's just dedicated to OpenIV. It'll probably, I'll repeat most things that I said in this video, but if you guys want to check it out, feel free. So I'm in here once I open up OpenIV, guys. Make sure you are in the main directory of GT5 or the root. What I mean by that is the very beginning of GT5. As you can see, I can't go back anymore. So if I go inside my mods folder, I'm not in the root or the main directory since I am not at the very root of the main directory of GT5. I'm inside the mods folder. The main directory or the root is just the very beginning. So you know you know you're there. If you see the X64 folder, 
the update folder, the scripts, the mods, etc. So this is the root. You want to copy this into the root of GT5, so scriptic5, dll, and then put 8, dll, just like that. Skip the native trainer for out native trainer if you that's pretty much just the model menu but i do recommend you guys installing menu i will have a card at the top once you're done with this video once you're done with this video you should be able to install it just so you guys know all right we're gonna close out scriptic 5 that's done let's download scriptic.net so i'll link this in the description again so there's a little cube guys guy <laughs> a little cube uh click the link next to the cube all right so that's how you download it open it up again it's like most mods hit this little extract button extract uh, and it'll open it up it'll open up the version that is extracted i'm going to close out the version that's not extracted back to open iv again i'm going to copy everything except these two text files so from scriptic.net down to scripted.net 3 so all these again everything in this folder except the license and except the readme and I'm going to copy, just drag and drop into the main directory again, the root of GT5. The main directory and the root, same thing. Just like that. All right. We're done with script.net. Uh, again, a lot of mods do require this, so make sure you do install this. So don't skip that part. And let's just install native UI. Again, it's another another file that I don't, I'm not an expert on this, guys, but it's just a lot of mods to require this. If you don't have this, the mod, a lot of script mods won't work. And this is actually going to go inside your scripts folder. So this is kind of what I just talked about a little bit ago. So it's going to go inside the script folder that might be empty for you. All right, again, extract the mod, hit extract, and then you're going to drag these into, so go inside of that script folder. As you can see, I already have it in here. So this is what you want to, this is what you want to see actually. Drag and drop, I'll just drag and drop it again. Boom, that's it. So that is pretty much it guys. The game, you are ready to mod. You are ready to pretty much install most mods out there at least most mods on my channel some mods you will require a couple more things but if you do require a couple more things then those tutorials actually tell you install this or install that but you should be able to install car mods script mods and mod menus and stuff like that so most you should be good to go guys again mod at your own risk everyone's hardware and everyone's software might be different so if it doesn't work just because it works for me it might not work for you exactly you might need to upgrade your operating system but for most i say for 99 percent of you guys you should be good to go um for most mods not all mods though but for most mods on my channel at least so feel free to check out mods on my channel um i will have a card at the top if your car mods do cause your game to crash in the loading screen so we'll have a card for that and how to fix that so if you guys run into that issue check out that video please and install those three mods that i do include in that video but with this with that said Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. Take care.